Prosecutors say Robert Magoon, a former custodian at the Pines Community Center, sexually assaulted a young girl while they were inside the game room where children often spent time during a before school program. Several witnesses testified they would see the alleged victim sitting on Magoon's lap while they colored pictures. While on the witness stand today, Frank Shepard, a supervisor at the center, said he became concerned and tried to intervene when he noticed children sitting on Magoon's lap. When I specifically mentioned it to him, uh, his response was, you cannot tell me what to do. The prosecution highlighted a no-contact policy between staff and children, but during testimony, a second employee pointed out it was often difficult to keep the children away. The kids are hands-on. They will try to sit on your lap even if you tell them not to, even if you told them so many times not to. They will still try to sit on your lap, and you are constantly trying to tell them to get off. During questioning, Magoon's attorneys pointed out not one of the witnesses ever saw Magoon touch the child, but prosecutors say, in general, Shepard was the only adult in the building for the morning shift besides Magoon, something they allege the defendant took advantage of and assaulted the girl when no one was around. And now the state rested its case today. The defense will call one more witness tomorrow, and then jury deliberations are expected to follow shortly after. We're live here in Concord. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.